This week it's Maths Week and we have a special talking homework for you. Maths is not only an area in the curriculum, it is all around our daily lives. Your talking homework is to discuss with your family ways you have used math skills all in your day. You can use any day this week or last weekend to discuss. Use the gift communication code in your discussion. You might need to teach your family. Be prepared to verbally share your family's ideas on Friday with the class or within a group. You do not need to write anything down. Here are some examples from our school. So maths for me is a really important part of uh, my everyday. And if I think about my everyday as a head teacher in school, then uh, my day always starts with having a look at what I have in my diary and what my priorities are for today. But as a head teacher, I am always thinking ahead and I'm thinking about what's happening this week and organising priorities for me and my colleagues and our team. Uh, but I'm also looking weeks and months ahead. We're sat in September 2019, but a lot of what I'm thinking about is planning on how we'll meet targets and things we want to achieve in 2020 or even beyond. So calendars and time, really important at school for me. Uh, another really important part of, uh, of maths and my everyday maths is about money uh, and our school budget. I'm staring into an iPad right now that we're filming this on but from active panels to fruit that we're buying for technology activities in our achievement hall, money day to day and our budgets are a really important part of my uh, school life. And then obviously as a, as a, as a person outside of school, uh, outside of being a head teacher and for my family, well maths is part of every day from uh, filling up petrol in the car to when we do the shopping and I have three children and my children uh, and I working through the everyday mental maths that we have. Um, but really there are things I can think of every day and every week that involve maths. Just at the weekend uh, for our family we had some wood delivered for one of our wood burners and my son and I, son and I were stacking the wood. So the shapes of the wood, the way um, it fits together, the patterns of that and even when we had two huge bags of wood how that would fit together into our little wood store at the back of the house and which fraction of it may or may not fit in. So maths is everywhere. Maths is uh, in every day for me and I couldn't do without it. Hi, I'm Mrs Kennedy in the office and on a day-to-day -day basis I use numeracy to work out the amount of adults that need to go on class trips with um, classes and I also um, have to work out how much the trips will cost. I also use maths for um, ordering, ordering items for the classes. Um, to see if it's in the budget as well and um, to work out timings between giving medicines to, to the pupils that need it. So I use numeracy a lot. For example, if I wanted to go into town to see a film at the cinema, I would have to look at the cinema timetable, work out when the film was on, and then I have to think what train would be best to get me into town at the best time. So I use numeracy a lot for that. And here in the school, I do use numeracy every day when I'm giving people medicine. This person needs some medicine and I have to give them exactly the right amount, which is five millilitres. So we put the special syringe into the medicine, turn it upside down, and then pull this down until it goes to the five mark. And I know that I've given them exactly the right amount of medicine. And that's very important to be able to use numeracy for that. Another thing I do at school is to run a club where we watch films and we have two hours once a week to watch a film. So I have to look at the back of the DVD and see how long the film is and then I can work out when we need to start the film so that children have finished in time to go home. So everyday numeracy is very, very important. I use maths every day, especially when I'm calculating the time so I'm not late for anything. We are really looking forward to hearing all of your ideas on Friday. Happy chatting!